what you have to realize is that the machinery can't duplicate the kind of care that goes with producing something with your hands. Even the fastest machines we have run at no faster than about 20,000 rounds in a 10 hour day. The military has a plant that can produce 3 million rounds of 5.56 in one day. That's not us never be able to produce that kind of quantity, partly because we use machinery that operates slow, as a matter of fact. In a word, it operates slowly. 20,000 rounds of ammunition in a day. That sounds like a lot until you watch the machine run, and it's running, you know, ker-chunk, ker-chunk, ker-chunk. The machinery runs slow. It's basically an automated hand loading process as opposed to a factory producing a million rounds a day. A lot of people think that it's simply a matter of assembling product and, the, and they think it's a science and that if, if you do this you end up with that. That's not the way we do it. What we do is produce a small quantity of ammunition that's essentially handcrafted We've eliminated some of the variability that could occur with humans, but we've retained the human touch. We don't simply produce ammunition. At our plant, there is a high level of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is people doing something with a high degree of attention, going the extra step, having a craft, a skill that took years to develop, and they develop that skill under the careful tutelage of someone who has had themselves spent a decade or better, maybe their entire lives, learning about how to do this correctly. We can't eliminate the human element of it. It, it requires human hands to make sure that that product is perfect. Black Hills Ammunition. It started with our hands.